So all of the drama in Genshin Impact couldn't get even worse, right? But wrong. There is a completely new situation going on in Genshin Impact at the moment, which players are absolutely furious over, and it is kind of funny to see. Now, if you don't know, in one of my previous videos, I talked about a massive ongoing situation with Genshin Impact, and a lot of the characters in Natlan, which people weren't happy with, because Natlan was supposed to be an area that's supposed to reflect a really dry and hot place, and most of the characters ended up being extremely pale. So a ton of people weren't happy with that, including tons of the voice actors and content creators who have worked with the game and also other Hoyaverse games over years. And overall, the community has just been unhappy. But on top of this, there has actually been a new situation involving the character Nouvellet. And I know if that has actually come out as part of the 4.8 update. And the difference with this and the last situation is that even China are annoyed at this update and literally the entire Genshin Impact community are so annoyed. Which if you don't know with the Natlan one, obviously the Chinese community don't really care about the skin colour of the characters. So Hoyaverse aren't probably going to make a change with that, but this could actually prompt Hoyaverse to make some kind of change. Now before I get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And also go over to Gamer Subs and use my code Kazo where you get yourself 10% off a ton of cups, tubs and even more. And yeah, you can do that all by using the link down below. But let's get back into the video. So this is a news article by Dexerto. Obviously, you know, they're pretty popular for covering a lot of internet news. It says Genshin Impact players furious over terrible Nouvellet nerf in 4.8 update. And it says the Genshin Impact players are calling out Hoyaverse over a Nouvellet nerf, which has made the 5-star Hydro character terrible to play. Now, if you don't know, Nouvellet has this one ability where he can pretty much just shoot out a ton of water. It's absolutely insane, especially whenever he came out. People are super happy with his kit. But what people are especially happy with is that you could actually like turn him. So you could spin around in circles shooting this massive like laser beam and it would do a ton of damage in a lot of areas and you know people really like this they would turn up the dpr and their mouse to make them spin faster and overall it was just a very liked update and people thought this was part of his design but in genshin impact 4.8 they actually changed that and now you can't now i don't know exactly how you can't but They've made it pretty much so you're unable to spin around in a circle like you used to, which allows you to deal damage to all of the enemies simultaneously. And it was actually a bug, and this wasn't an intentional part of his kit. But obviously, it's been so long since Nouvellet came out. I think it's been just less than a year since he's been out, and now they decide to make a change, which is really, really weird. And a lot of people were questioning why Hoyaverse has done this, because obviously, you know, if there was a problem with him, then they should have fixed it literally on the day that he came out or even, you know, on the next update after his banner release. Because if it's such a big problem, then they should have changed it like almost immediately. But they've waited until the 4.8 update to change it. And obviously this is bad, especially whenever you're pulling for a character thinking that you can do this, because obviously there was a lot of people that didn't know that Nouvellet could do something like this. They saw people spinning around with him. They thought, whoa, that's cool. I'll pull on the character. And now it's just been taken away from them after they've either like spent money or spent their gems on the game. And now, you know, they've just lost that and they can't even use the character how they intended to use it. So obviously a ton of people are extremely angry about this and people are calling for it to change. For example, someone on the Genshin Impact Reddit page said, I hope they revert it like the Yaimiko Totem bug fix. And that apparently he just feels really clunky and they're kind of like force slowing him down. So again, people are really not happy with like what's happened to him and how the game is going, especially with all of the Natlan stuff too. This is especially like, you know, egged on a lot of people to take part in the Genshin Impact boycott, which is going on at the moment, which again, as I said in the last video, probably won't last that long. But again, it will definitely deter a lot of Genshin Impact players from continuing to play the game or even just you know spending money on getting characters which obviously is really bad for Hoyaverse as a you know game company they need to make money and an issue like this is extremely bad especially if they don't fix it and then the article just goes on to explain like how bad this is and what his overall kit's like and why this is bad for his character and you would just expect there'll be a little bit of arguments online right well there's actually been a massive massive outrage i mean i honestly thought that this wasn't going to blow up either i thought this was just going to be a little bit of just like people being annoyed and then them getting over it but it seems like everybody including the chinese community are annoyed and that's what i'm going to get into is the chinese community obviously genshin impact like to listen to the chinese community as it's a massive game in china and obviously they're a chinese based uh, game studio although they aren't based there now Hoyaverse was founded in china so again they really do like their fan base over there and yeah every time there is a change it's usually whenever they bring it up and not whenever global bring it up and honestly this makes me think that they probably will change it because they have spoken up but what have they actually done well the first thing is that chinese players are now reporting the nouvellet situation to the government for consumer fraud which is absolutely insane there's this whole post here so people are going to the government and you know literally reporting them for fraud which to be fair is actually kind of valid because they've you know pulled for one character and spent a lot of money on the game thinking that he does one thing for them just to take it away later on 
I think that could definitely fall under it. And obviously the people are saying this is like completely overreacting and stuff, which I can kind of understand too. I mean, you know, literally complaining to the actual government about it is maybe a step too far. But honestly, I get where they're coming from because they have spent a lot of money on this character and on the game. And a lot of the Chinese players are also confused at why it took them so long to actually make this change in the first place. And now they've made even more posts. They've even started making memes about Nouvellet, saying that he's going to die on the 24th of July. And then they also made this one related to the uh, whole Trump thing with him flying like some Mahomes your flag in the background so again they're pretty much saying that nouvelle is dead and yeah it's kind of funny to see obviously china do like to meme quite a lot whenever it comes to stuff like that and they're also doing stuff like persuading other people to be free to play or just stop playing genshin in total so Again, people in China are definitely, you know, warming up to this whole boycott idea and not spending money on the game or even just not playing it in total. And this is all because of the Nouvellet thing. This is nothing to do with Natlan. This is all because Nouvellet can't spin around in a circle, which again, sounds completely stupid whenever you think about it on the surface. But I think with the whole like people spending a lot of money for his abilities and then them taking it away, I definitely can see why people wouldn't want to play this game anymore and it definitely shows where Hoyaverse is at with its community and communicating with them because they haven't been good at communicating with their audience since the game first came out so again this is just another case of Genshin Impact being terrible whenever it comes to bringing out updates and letting the community know why they've done this and you know what's going to happen and hopefully we do see a fix to this soon and then finally for the last one which is probably like the worst post that you know is out of all of these is that apparently in China a lot of people are creating a name list claiming that these are the people who nerfed Nouvellet. So they are finding Hoyaverse employees or whatever or finding people online who called for Nouvellet to be nerfed and putting them on a list and pretty much just doxing them. So that is absolutely insane and obviously it shows you how far the Chinese community will go whenever it comes to their game. Obviously, you know, that definitely isn't the right thing to do. I think, you know, reporting it to the government was kind of funny and like reporting it for fraud. I believe that's kind of justified, I guess. But I don't think that doxing a lot of the workers is the right thing to do here, honestly, because, you know, these are just normal people. They're just doing what Mahoyo tell them to. It's not like they had any choice in, you know, deciding this. It's more the like creative directors behind it and whoever's like in charge of the whole thing overall. And going after some random dude who maybe just like typed in a couple of numbers to stop Nouvellet from spinning around, you know, it's a little bit far and obviously it can destroy a lot of people's lives. So this is a little bit too far. And I think that, you know, it does show how mad the Chinese community are. But again, I don't think doxing is the way to go with this and it's never really the way to go with anything. So again, not very good, but I do find a lot of these memes and other posts kind of funny. And it's just kind of interesting to see the Chinese community just blow up over this because, you know, they don't get mad at much against an impact. They're usually quite happy with what they do and, you know, they just kind of listen to them, especially with the Natlan stuff, as I was saying, you know, they were pretty happy with that. They don't really care that there wasn't very many dark skin characters in the game. But with this, they are actually annoyed. And obviously, whenever they get annoyed, they properly get annoyed. So maybe we'll see some change from Genshin Impact in the future. And just let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you think they're going to make some kind of change here? Or do you think that it's just going to say the same and that Nuvalat has officially died? And that, you know, we're not going to be able to see him. And that he's been, like, taken out of the meta for good now. Not that the meta actually really matters in Genshin Impact anymore. You can pretty much just use any character you want. But... Again, it's quite funny to see and I will definitely keep you guys updated if anything else happens or anything happens in the global community. And yeah, that's about all I got for this video. So if you enjoyed it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as I said, go over to Gamer Subs, use my code Kazza where you can get some 10% off by using the link below. And yeah, they've got a ton of really cool designs and stuff that I definitely recommend you guys go check out and even go grab a cup for yourself. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next. That's all. See ya.